Hi, today we're here in the cold guide hall at the Heifer Reactor to talk about the GP SANS instrument. GP SANS stands for General Purpose Small Angle Neutron Scattering. We start here for the instrument, comes out of the reactor, then the HB4 beam tube comes through this wall where you see this north indicator and comes down through guides that totally reflect the neutrons. Then we come up to the first part of the instrument, which is the velocity selector that helps us monochromate our beam line or select a wavelength or an energy that we want to look at with a bandwidth of 13%. And through settings, we can reduce that down to about 8%. The next thing you'll see is a beam monitor, which we use to normalize the beam on our samples. And then we come down into the collimation section. This collimation section is a little bit different than the other ones you've seen around the facilities. It's more of a pinhole geometry. So we have a source aperture and a sample aperture. We get a pinhole geometry. We can put guides in or out to help increase the flux on sample or increase the resolution of our instrument. As we continue down this really long collimation section, we hit the sample table where we see Ken loading a sample into a furnace. This sample is at the end of a stick that will sit in the center of the beam. This furnace can go up to 1600 Celsius. From there, we see the most prominent feature of a SANS instrument, which is this 20 meter long detector tank. Inside of it is a one meter by one meter square tube array of helium-3 tubes that allow us to detect the neutrons. After this, we're gonna go down and take a closer look at our data acquisition system with Ken. The purpose of this experiment is to see how the precipitates in these steels evolve as a function of time at a given temperature. So what we're doing here is we are going to set the furnace to a, a particular temperature. Right now it's configured for 700 Celsius and then uh, set our detector so that it uh, measures yeah, yeah, every minute, uh, it resets the pattern every minute. So what is going to happen in this experiment is uh, precipitates can either uh, uh, grow and uh, yeah, yeah, uh, coalesce and grow in the system or that they could dissolve. In this case, we expect them to coalesce and grow. So what will happen is a ring will appear and then slowly uh, it becomes uh, smaller in diameter as it moves towards the center of the uh, you know, detector. Uh, what this means is that the, as the particles get larger, the angles get smaller. So uh, this is only a uh, quantita uh, qualitative assessment of what's going on to actually get the uh, accurate size and the uh, volume fraction of the precipitates, we will do uh, nonlinear least squares settings to a model uh, after the experiment. 